guys, welcome back to my channel. It is a new month. We are now in April. Well, we're not. We're not technically in April, but we're in the April A bracket. It is Wednesday the 28th of March, which means we got paid today. And I just went for a food shop and I thought I would just quickly mention, so last month I didn't go to the larder and I was trialing that out and I've decided that I'm not gonna probably go to the larder until the kids' clubs are finished. Now my husband is doing a bit more, we are able to afford to buy our own food and I'm pretty good at making our food quite cheap. But one thing I also wanted to say is I've been spending more on food shopping than I probably needed to. So our budget for the month for food shopping is £400 and that does include toiletries and cleaning products and any food that we buy. We have been under budget. I could quite easily make it cheaper. Although £400 is our budget, the way I see things, I kind of, I can't remember, is it, is it a parable? But the idea of you, when we have more money, we stock up ready for when we don't, if that makes sense. So if you never know what's gonna happen in the future and we try to have a plan and a stock of things so that now it's like the feast and the famine. So you store your food away when you're having a amazing harvest, when you're having feasts of food, when there's loads of stuff ready for when potentially there is a famine, when it's a drought. So I feel like I'm in that process where we've been quite struggling for the last few months to get by. Now we're earning a bit more money and I know that I can afford the 400 pounds a month. We are kind of probably going to reach that bracket so that this is the way I'm able to save more money so that when, if you stock up on things that are cheaper, you stock up on things when you have the money, it means that when you need to save a bit of money, you have the food in your house to be able to balance that out if that makes sense. But I probably will be going back to the larder eventually, but probably not until summertime when clubs are finished. It's just too, too hard work to get there on time when you've got like 10 minutes after the larder finishes to get to our clubs. It's just too, too stressful, as well as filming, it's, it's a lot. But I just went for a food shop now at Aldi and it's the first day of the month. I'm probably going to do a click and collect or pop to Tesco's in a little bit, like in the next couple of days or maybe this evening, I'm not sure yet. And I'm going to, I think I've decided that this month I'm probably going to again, try and stock up a bit on just a few of the essentials and then perhaps next month try and do a more frugal month. First of all, how much we spent. I got quite, I didn't get a huge amount of food, but I got quite expensive things this week. So like for eight, ages ago, I don't know if you remember in one of the videos, I bought some mascarpone because where the kids watch I Can Cook on YouTube, one of the recipes was a mascarpone cheesecake. And my husband absolutely loved it. And every time I've gone to the shop, he's gone, please get some more mascarpone so you can make another one. But they've never had any. They've been out of mascarpone at Aldi that I go to for ages. And I'm not gonna go pop to the shop just for mascarpone because if you don't already know, the less you go to the shop, the less likely you are to spend money. If you are just saying you're gonna pop to the shop for one thing, unless you have a really good self, like sense of self-control, you're realistically probably gonna leave with more than one thing. Anyway, I'm rambling. So, we spent, that's what I was gonna do. We spent today 72 pounds and 53p. So for the first day of the month, we're gonna add 72 pounds and 53p to it. And this is gonna be the first proper month where we will not be going to the larder at all because last month we did go for the first day so let's see if i'm still able to keep it under budget even with stocking up we'll see i can never have too much bread in my outside freezer so i've got three loaves of bread we'll probably eat two in a week and then these were on sale and we love bagels so i got some bagels some more flour i'm slowly trying to build up a bit of a stock so that and we're also starting our own sourdough again so we're gonna need a lot of flour. Some mushrooms, stock up a bit of pasta and spaghetti, two baby corns. I'm really annoyed that when they were on sale for like age 65p a little while ago, I'm so annoyed that I didn't just stock it all up and see if I could freeze it. You live and you learn, next time I will. Bread sticks, crackers, veg stock, apples. Then it's coming up to Easter. We're starting to get the kids some Easter eggs. They didn't have any Easter eggs that I deemed cheap enough to buy from Aldi, but they did see these and they like these. So I'm gonna get these and then I'm gonna to go to a different shop to get them their Easter eggs because my kids really like white chocolate or at least my eldest does. And 
I couldn't see any cheap East, white Easter eggs from Audi, so I'll have to look for some more. Some more biscuits, as you know, I'm having my sweet craving in the evenings. A couple of biscuits is enough to like handle that, like to take care of that, and they're a lot cheaper. So biscuits are a good way to get your sweetness in without spending a fortune. Anyway, some broccoli, some rice. Again, I'm slowly just kind of replenishing the stock that I <laughs> ate all up. And these um, may have been <laughs> my Easter egg to myself. Then we've got pistachios, cashews and flax seeds, more crackers, a few more chopped tomatoes. Now that I've stocked up of chopped tomatoes, it's just a case of continuously buying what I need for the week so that we don't eat all the stock. Some honey and mustard dressing, some house dressing. If you like garlic and herb dips from like, like Domino's, grab one of these instead. This was 65p for 250 mils. And then I don't remember last week, I also bought the little pot from Aldi of like uh, garlic and herb dip. That was 65p for 100 mils and we tasted them and they taste pretty similar. So you get a lot more for your money. Just, oh no, whoopsie, for, for that. Some mayo, some ketchup. Sweet chili was on sale for 99p rather than 120, so I got a couple of those. I've got some Dijon mustard for making honey and mustard dressing myself. Some sun-dried tomatoes. And then Audi sometimes have these things. And I have not had this since I was a kid and I absolutely love this. So it was a bit of a splurge, it was 199, but I mean, sometimes you just have to. <laughs> Nachos, peppers, strawberries, cheese, and then like I said, two mascarpones, then some more cheese bread that AJ really liked, and Forrest wanted to try the stronger one, so we went for that. And then some yogurts, and then I, again, last week I bought one of these, and I was, we were meant to share it, and then when one of the boys were at their, when the boys were at their clubs, I was sitting in the car, I may have cooked and eat this myself, so the boys were upset with me that I ate it and they didn't get to try any, it was a bad, bad mum moment. So I bought two more, um, and for 129, I think it was, or 125, that's way cheaper than if you're gonna get a Domino's takeaway. And honestly, I couldn't tell much of a difference. I mean, granted it has been years since I've had, it's probably been about eight years since I've had the garlic bread pizza at Domino's, but it was still really worth that. Two apple juices, corn on the cob, sweet corn. This is my sourdough starter that we are working on. Some chicken nuggets, well no, veggie chicken nuggets, like corn nuggets, vegetarian mince, basil and lettuce. So that's what we got today for 72 pounds. It is Friday the 31st of March. I just did a click and collect from Tesco's. If I keep shopping the way I'm shopping, I will be over budget this month, but we'll see. So I just did a click and collect and I spent 52 pounds. So let's add 52 pounds to the running total. So this is how much we're at. And then I also got chicken food and bedding, which was another 30 pounds, but that will do us for the next month and a half, two months. We'll add 30 pounds. So this is where we're at on the 31st of March. We still have 28 days. Once again, we've got the stock up of uh, wheat bits. There's six packs there. And they get us about, it's about one a week. So they last us six weeks. Then five packs of veggie sausage rolls. These were on sale and they are my boy's favorite. So I got a of those. Some tomato puree, again, I've still got two, of, like a big one of these, but this was on sale. So I've got another one, some baked beans. And then I found it's always handy to have some burgers in the freezer. So I've got six packs of veggie burgers. These are the best veggie burgers I've found for the price. Also, I know I've got a lot of, uh, of the corn mints, but these were cheaper per 100 grams. So I thought I'd try them and if they're any good, I'd stock up on these ones instead. And then the same with these veggie chorizo sausages. They're normally £2.50 a pack, which I do not buy them when they're that price. But these were on sale for £1.50, so I stopped and got four of those. So that is everything that I got for today. Hey guys, it's Thursday the 6th of April, and I just got back from a food shop. It's half term, so I don't do my normal Tuesday shop. On Sunday, I believe we are having Joel's brother and sister and kids and everything round. So I have to get a few bits for that. I popped to Aldi today and I spent £65.69. So we're going to add that to the running total. Yes, I did just spill ketchup on me. Whoops. 
Starting over here, we got two things of yogurt because they had a long sell-by date, so they can just go in the fridge. Some uh, spread, pineapple and mango, some mozzarella, and then two different types of cheese for the pizza party, as well as some vegan cheese, some orange juice and apple juices, some apples, some more sausages, two baby corn, some tofu, some cheese spread for the boys, some cranberry juice. So I cleaned out our fridge today, which took me, I haven't done for ages. And I saw that we had loads of Malibu. We don't buy alcohol, so it must have been left over from Christmas when Joel got it as a gift. And I tend to have, me and Joel both tend to have it with cranberry. So I got some of that, so we can drink that over the weekend. Some olive oil, loads of ketchup and mayo so that we have enough for the weekend again. Custard creams, mushrooms, peppers, cauliflower, jam, some salad dressing, two packs of nachos, some lettuce, some vegetable socks then. Because it's Easter, loads of the veg are on sale, so the carrots were 19p, the uh, parsnips were 19p, and the potatoes were 15p, I believe. The breadsticks, three packs of pasta for my niece and nephew, and for Joel. <laughs> then we've got three packs of bread, and then three more packs of flour. Flour has gone up so much money since I stocked up, kind of did a big stock up about a year ago. A year ago for one of these, it was about 49p. It was now 69p, so it's gone up 20p, which I know it's not a huge amount, but percentage wise it really is. And then we got two toilet rolls and some bin, bin liners. So that's what we got today. Hey guys, it is Monday the 17th of April. If you saw my video on the 17th of April, you would know that it's mine and Joel's 14 year anniversary. Not wedding, as he likes to remind me, just of being together. He doesn't like celebrating this one. He likes celebrating the wedding anniversary, which is fine by me. The kids actually away until next, until this upcoming Thursday. So we have four days child free. I was just getting a bit overwhelmed and needed a bit of a break. So we sent them up to the grandparents' house up north for a few days. And I just went on a food shop. And although I don't have the kids and don't have to feed them for four days, it was still quite expensive. One thing we do to try and avoid ourselves going out to eat too much, like going out to eat and spending more money than we need to, we do buy ourselves little treats in our food shopping. Although the stuff we should buy in the shop might be a bit more expensive than our regular weekly food shops, it's still way cheaper than if we were to go out. So there's a few things I've bought today that I wouldn't normally buy, but they're for date nights while the kids are away. And I did still stock up on a few things. So first of all, I went to Tesco's to grab some plant-based kebabs, but it didn't even need to go because apparently Aldi now sell their own plant-based kebabs. We're gonna, I still got the other ones and I've tried, I've also got the Aldi ones and I'm gonna compare them to see which one's better. But at Tesco's, they always also had some stuff in the reduced section, so I got some stuff there. So I spent just over seven pounds in Tesco's and I spent, 73 pounds and 30 pence in Audi. So this is the total of where we are at for today. We still have a week, well, 10, 11 days until payday. So probably one more food shop for this month. And I think I'm gonna be at or very close to the budget. First of all, let me show you what I got from Tesco. So I got these asparagus were in the reduced section. So they were one. 37 rather than two pounds eight. Um, I only get these because they're in the reduced section and I'm trying to just eat a bit more vegetables at the moment. Some rocket salad, again reduced. Then I got four packs of baby corn. I like reduced to 79p. I, I don't know if I can freeze them, but I'm going to give it a try. And then we got these two from Tesco. So that was our little Tesco's haul. And then this is what we got from Aldi some orange juice, two apple juice, two unsweetened soy milks, and uh, eight sweetened soy milks, some uh, mango and pineapple that I have in smoothies. These are the plant-based kebabs I found in Audi, so we'll compare them to the other ones, because if the other ones were cheaper on sale, but if the, and they were on sale, they were two pounds. This was two pound 40, so a little bit cheaper than the other ones, because the other ones are normally 2.50 when they're not on sale. 
garlic bread. I'm gonna make my own, but I had a craving for cheesy garlic bread that you normally get in the shops. And I'm gonna make my own from this, and I'm very excited. I've got some things that I need to get used up. I'm gonna make fudge with them, and I needed some actual butter, so I bought some actual butter for specific recipes. Then some other butter, well, spreadable, some hummus, some cheese slices, and some cheddar cheese then. Again, I've got stuff that I need to use up, and I'm gonna make a um, a recipe with some dried frigs that I need using. And I'm a bit nervous, I got some blue cheese, and I have not had blue cheese in about eight years, seven, eight years, and I used to love it. So I will see if I still do. And then we've got some tofu, some apples, some mango chutney, some onion chutney, and some jalapenos. Four packs of pasta. I'm just generally trying to keep a stock of that because it has gone up so much money since last year. This pasta last year was around 25p, perhaps even a bit less. Now it's 41p, so I'm not okay with that. Two packs of broccoli, some squash, and then Joel requested for our date nights some Pepsi. We tend not to buy fizzy drinks, but when we are having like an in at home date night, he does request them every now and again. Some lettuce, some mushrooms, some spinach. Just trying to eat a bit more veg and greenery in my diet. Some um, oranges, some celery, some onions, some white and red onions that is. Peppers, two packs of cashews, some custard creams, three tomato purees, some rice, some cherry tomatoes, some stock cubes, some mayo, salad dressing and sweet chilli, some flour, two packs of, two loaves of bread, and then a few packs of crisps, and two packs of toilet rolls. So that's what we got today. It is Tuesday the 25th of April, and it is the last food shop of the month. We get paid on Friday, so in three days. We got back from a food shop earlier. We went to Aldi and I did a regular food shop there. I say regular, but there was a few extra bits that I had to get for some recipe testing that I'm gonna be doing. First of all, let me show you what I got from Aldi and Tesco. So we've got a self-raising and a plain flour, a big block of cheese, some puffs, puff pastry I'm recipe testing. I need to learn how to make pastry. I'm ashamed that I'm this frugal and don't know how to make pastry. So that is something I'm going to learn this year. Some butter, again, for recipe testing. Plant-based cheese, some cheese slices, some goat's cheese, again, I'm recipe testing. So a lot of the stuff I've bought today is for recipes. Some smoothie mix, two yogurts, some sweet potatoes, some more peanut butter, some orange juice, custard cream, two packs of pasta, some sausages, spinach, mushrooms and pears. They were on sale. Walnut halves for recipe testing. Some crisps. Then we've got some spring onions for recipe testing. Some broccoli, cauliflower, mixed seeds recipe testing. Some barbecue, mayo, and tomato sauce, salad dressing, butter beans, can you guess what for? For recipe testing. Some stock pots, some olive oil. It is breaking my heart how expensive olive oil has become. This, just a few months back, I think was 2 dollars It's now close to four pounds, crazy. Some rice, some lettuce, garlic, and carrots. Onions, two aubergines, can you guess what for? Recipes, baby corn, some peppers, some potatoes. The burger buns are on sale, so they're going in the freezer, and the same with the bagels. Leeks for a recipe, a red onions and some apples, some on sale strawberries. If we don't eat them in the time, they'll go in the freezer and we'll have them as smoothies. They literally will go in like this, I won't take the pit that the green off, I'll just shove it in like that. Some soy milk. So I have realized that they have increased the price once again of the sweetened soy milk to 85p, whereas these were on sale at 50p, normally 55p. So I think I'm gonna switch up to unsweetened and the boys will just have to get used to it. 
And then two loaves of bread. They didn't have my normal cheaper loaves, so I went for those. So that's everything that I got today from Audi, but I also did a click and collect. So this is what we got from Tesco's. We got these 10 tins of baked beans and 10 tins of tomato, chopped tomatoes. I get them from Tesco's because they're the same price as Audi, but you get the points. I also had vouchers. So I had a voucher for some juice. So this was only worked out being 10p. I also got some tomato purees. Joel's favorite kebab, like uh, plant-based kebab meat was on sale at two pounds, either two pounds or two pound 50, where it's normally three pound 50. Same with these mints. These are normally £3.50 and the ones from Audi are £2.95 but these were on sale at £2 for the 500 grams. So I got two of those, some sweet corn, some Weetabix, forgot the name of those, and then four packs of sausage rolls. I also have already dug into them, got these crisps because I had a voucher as well so they worked out being like 30p. Yeah, that's what we got today. So we went to Audi and spent... £65 and 71p so this is how much we're at, at the moment under budget currently but on the way back we also popped to Tesco's and did a click and collect order and spent another £30 exactly so I, I'm filming this without remembering what we were at um, but I believe we either are just at or perhaps just under Fingers crossed. Budget, I think we're around the £400 mark. Yes, yeah, so we spent another £30. So this is the current total for the month of April. Next month, I'm going to attempt to rein that back in. However, I have been spending more because I have been stocking up and I have been buying extra food for videos, content that I'm coming up with, which you will see. So that is everything we bought for the month of April. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe and share all of that stuff. It really helps me out. So that is everything for today. I will see you in my next video. Also, there is a playlist of all of my other what I bought in a month grocery shoppings down below, as well as my recipes under one pound proportion videos. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye friends.